gonna have a five-minute tech tip. A five-minute tech tip today. Hello, and welcome to today's five-minute tech tip. Today, we're going to talk about the Chrome extension called DraftBag. DraftBack is a very powerful Chrome extension that can help anybody in the classroom that has any students that ever turn in any kind of Google document. And you're going to see why in just a second. DraftBack will take all of the history of that document and put it together in a video to show you the history of how the student created that document, um, when they added, what they added, how they added, what they added, what they changed, and various things like that. And when your students know that you have this powerful tool in your arsenal it'll change how they work on their documents and um, I think it'll be a very helpful tool to anybody who has students that turn in any kind of documents in Google Docs now this can be through Google Classroom this could just be documents they share with you it could even be for your own documents for that matter um, so let's go ahead and get started showing you where to get this um, it is a Google Chrome extension which means that you have to add it through the Google Chrome web store uh, there's different ways to get to the Google Chrome Web Store. Uh, one way is just type in uh, Chrome Web Store, and that'll get you there. Another way that you can do this is actually just type DraftBack, and the first result that'll come up is DraftBack Chrome Web Store. So either way, you either go to the Chrome Web Store and search for it or just search for DraftBack. Now you'll see this comes up as a Google extension that I can add to Chrome. So I'm going to do that. If you're not logged into Google Chrome at the time, it's going to just ask you to log in and then you'll be able to add it. So I'm going to add that extension. Now it says draft back has been added, added to Chrome. So that means we're good to go. So now all we have to do is just bring up some sort of document in Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up Google Drive here. And for this example, I'm just going to find a document that has been shared with me. And this is not a student's work. This is just something that some colleague has shared at some point in time. And as we bring up this document now, what DraftBack is going to do, it's going to analyze the document. It just takes a few seconds. And whenever it's done analyzing it and keeping track of all the different changes that's been made to it, here in the upper right hand corner, there it is. You're going to see a button that pops up that says draft back. It says there's been 818 revisions. Now, if this document has been shared with multiple people, maybe it's a project that multiple students are working on, um, you'll see all the revisions of all the different students and you'll be able to look at that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And it's saying it's rendering this draft back and you see the progress here. It, doesn't take very long at all. Once it comes up, you're going to hit the view link and then that's going to open up DraftBack player. So now as you see, it jumps right in and starts playing the history of this document. It's sped up currently. Um, you can hit it to go actual speed. That would take a pretty long time for most documents you're looking at. As you see here, I'm sliding a slider up and down. You can go as fast as six times, which will show you the revisions much quicker or you can slow it back down a little bit. Now the other thing to note is here at the top, it shows the date and the time that these revisions were made. So as you play it back through, you can even scroll this bar manually, you can see the different times that all these revisions were made. Even if it was through multiple days or weeks that this document's been made, you're gonna see all that information. And another thing you can do to even get more information, here it says, document graphs and statistics and click on that link and that's going to open up another tab here and you can actually see the timeline of the activity to just kind of get a brief overview of when this document was worked on you can also see who it was viewed by and who it was edited by here at the bottom so again a lot of information that you can pull out of any google document DraftBack does not have to be installed on the student's workstation. It doesn't have to be installed in the, in the student's Chrome bar. You can take any document that you get in Google Docs and do this to yourself. And all you have to have is that extension yourself. Um, 
can't stress enough what this will do to your students if they know that you have this power to be able to view how their document was created. It's definitely going to discourage cheating because you're going to be able to see if they just pasted a whole bunch of information into their document. You're going to be able to see the mindset of the student, how many times they change things, um, how meticulous they are in the work that they do. It's very, very nice and it's free and I encourage everyone to go ahead and grab it and at least try it out if nothing else. And again, this is DraftBack. It is a Chrome extension. And this is your five minute tech tip for the day. Thank you. We're gonna have a five minute tech tip.